Hey guys, it's the game with you, or I'm Swift Flips, or use daily, whatever you want to call me. And, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about past however long it's been, but let's get straight to the topic of this video. So, today I'm going to be talking about how SJWs, more specifically, I'd say females, but I guess you could say SJWs too, are kind of ruin ruining gaming and movies, I guess you could say. Well, that's kind of my point, my opinion, so. But anyways, for example, I didn't even know there was going to be a new Gears of War. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'm going to plan on getting it, to be honest, because I kind of just gave up on Gears of War 4. And, um, yeah, it's basically, I thought the story was going to continue with JD, you know, you know Marcus's son, but no. Um, Rod Ferguson, the head person for Coalition, which made Gears of War, said that, the, I don't know, what the trailer showed mostly stuff from Ape's point of view, which is obviously a female, and it's just going to be, the whole campaign's going to be about her and her finding out her past, and she's, like, taking charge. So, I mean, they basically ruined Gears of War for me because Gears of War, overall, the whole, like, game is about brotherhood and being connected to characters. It's about the Phoenix family story, like Marcus's family story, Phoenix family. Like, you know, finding out what happened to his dad and everything, and all the hardships he goes through, and like the connection him and Dom have, like, they're really close. And now, they're just putting in all this SJW shit, just to, you know, to appeal to, like, all these females, like, get more females and other people to buy their game, because obviously Gears of War isn't as big as COD, which has a bigger esports scene, and I'm pretty sure Gears of War doesn't have as big of an esports scene as, like, COD, obviously, or CSGO, and now Rainbow Six Siege. So, I think that's another reason why they went towards that, and it kind of pisses me off that they're going towards that, because I was really hoping to see what would happen to, like, JD and Dell. But I guess I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Unless they release another trailer where it shows, like, more JD stuff, but I don't know. Also, another example is the Han Solo movie. Solo, a Star Wars story. I enjoyed the movie. Don't at me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, like, I know some people are just boycotting it because of Ryan Johnson's horrible job on The Last Jedi, which I, I could see that. Like, killing Snoke. Like, and he's basically a new character and instantly killing him is kind of stupid because they made him sound like he's so powerful, but I guess he isn't, so. But, yeah, like, stupid decisions like that, I guess ruined it and how, like, Mark Hamill, a lot of people are saying, oh, that's not my Luke Skywalker, which, yeah, I should see that. It's not, like, the Red War Luke Skywalker, but, yeah, I don't know. But would I have boycotted it? No, because I... I really had high hopes. Like, they had such a good cast for, like, so many good actors for this movie, and I thought it was going to be good, and I honestly liked it. And the only thing I didn't like was this robot named L3. You know, it's a female robot. It's one of those, like, I guess, girl... Well, not girlfriend, but... I don't know. But, um... Anyways, what also pissed me off about Solo is how they had the nerve the fucking nerve to fucking say that Lando, probably my favorite Star Wars character, besides from Clone Troopers, they had the nerve to fucking say what his sexuality was and say that he was pansexual. It's like, who the fuck cares? It's Star Wars. And then also, with that stupid robot, L3, I liked that as a character, but when she brought up, like, robot equal equal rights and all that, that that kind of just, like, made me cringe so much, kind of like the scene in The Last Jedi where Rose and Finn are at Canto Bite and they have like, to talk about animal rights it, it's like, I felt I didn't even feel like that was Star Wars, I thought it was just, yeah let's include that to appeal to everyone else it's like, no, keep all your politics, your general gen gender equality shit, and LGBTQ shit out of Star Wars. Star Wars is Star Wars. It's not America with all this fucking gender shit. 
Like, come on, Kathleen Kennedy, get your head out of your ass. But like, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's kind of showing because the freaking Han Solo movies, like, box office sales are shit right now. And the last Jedi Blu-ray sales, I will admit, I did buy a Blu-ray for it. But anyways, those sales are down too, because of how pissed off, I guess you could say, the true, well, yeah, the true Star Wars fans are. Because they're boycotting, boycotting Star Wars right now because of how pissed off they are, uh, how they're dealing with these movies. So, I don't know, the only movie that, like, I'm still going to see Episode 9, but the Obi-Wan Kenobi, like, story movie is hopefully going to be good. Anyways, that's going to be all for me. Have a great rest of your day, and see you guys in the next one.